everybody, how is it going? It is your pal, Sal here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Shakira discography journey. So guys, today we are tackling Shakira's eighth studio album and third English album, She Wolf, which is an album that I'm very excited to tackle and I'll tell you guys why exactly right now. As many of you guys know, Urban Outfitters earlier, a few months ago, uh, released this album, Oral Fixation Volume 1, or Volume 2, and uh, Laundry Service on, on vinyl exclusive pressings and sadly I was unable well I didn't know Shakira at the time so I didn't buy them and most of them had all gone out of stock thankfully as I told you guys uh, last week I was able to find laundry service at the store and then also coincidentally and I do believe it's still up on Urban Outfitters website right now but don't quote me the only vinyl that has not sold out is She Wolf so about a few weeks ago I actually bought this because you know I do not know how to spend my money uh, in preparation for uh, <laughs> for this video um so that way, in case I loved the album, I had it on vinyl and I was ready. <laughs> um, 40 bucks later, so I'm determined to like this album today because I just simply have to with the investment I made. Uh, I, I couldn't be more excited to be here today. Out of all Shakira's albums that we're going to tackle, this is probably the one I've been most excited for, and we'll talk about that as we go along. Uh, mostly because I do love the, the lead single, the, the title song of this album, and just, it just ugh, brings out the hoe in me. So this album was released on October 9th of 2009. It's over, t it's over 10 years old, which is just... Ugh. How was 2009, 10 years ago? I just, I can't even. Uh, it did chart at number 15 on the Billboard 200, and this is the first and only time so far in Shakira's career where she had an English album that was followed up by an English album. Uh, that's rare for her. It's usually English, Spanish, English, Spanish, very much like Celine. English, French, French, English, you get the drift there. There were a total of four singles for this album. The first single was She Wolf, which did chart at number 11. The second single was Did It Again, which charted number one on the U.S. Dance Club songs. The third single was Give It Up To Me, which charted at number 29. And the fourth and final single was Gypsy, which charted at number 65. Uh... So sadly, we do not have a top 10 hit with this album. We have a song that I would have imagined would have been, but it's not, sadly. Uh, but I couldn't be more excited to go through with you guys in this album. I hope I got the track listing for this right. There are like a million different editions of this album with remixes. Some look to be bonus tracks, but then I'm like, are these Spanish versions? So we're basically going with the track listing of the Spotify version, which is the expanded edition. I'm hoping that's right. Don't quote me, but... uh. We'll pray, all right? So I think the best thing to do is to get started with track number one, which is the title track, the lead single, She Wolf. Let's do it. Uh, and as many of you guys know, I did a reaction video to this music video. Uh, fun times, one of my most viewed video reactions. So we love that, we stand that. of the Super Bowl. I love it. Amazing. So I, I should tell you my little history with this song. I don't know if I ever disclosed it in any of the... Um, in the reaction video I did to the music video. But so my earliest memory of this song, as I've said before, I did not really listen to pop music in the 2000s. So it, I didn't hear it on the radio, I'll tell you that much. Maybe I did, don't remember it. But my earliest uh, knowledge of this song was uh, in Watch Mojo's video where it's a uh, top 10 like worst lip sync fails. Uh, and it's like listed Ashley Tisdale, obviously Ashley Simpson. Uh, but one of them listed is this performance of She Wolf that Shakira does. I don't know if I... Uh, 
I ever looked at the whole thing, but I guess it was just not, it wasn't, it wasn't Shakira's night for lip syncing, I guess, that day. And uh, that was my only knowledge of the song. And I think I remember trying to listen to it and I didn't really get into it. Something like that. I don't know. But then here's what happens. The Super Bowl happens. Okay. And then I, I probably hear this song, you know, live done well for the first time, at least to my eyes and my ears. And uh, I was transfixed. And, you know, ever since then I listened to it and I, and I stand it. It's such a good song. What I love too is that going through in her discography, Shakira isn't really a sex kitten singer, you know what I mean? She has the voice for it, that's for sure. But none of her music is like overtly sexual. Uh, at least in her way, in her own. It's very, uh, it's very relationship driven. She's not like, she's not looking, she doesn't have like the complete like Ho banger, you know what I mean? Like even when you think of Hips Don't Lie, especially going through it last week, it doesn't feel, I mean, it feels sexy, but not like she's on the prowl. Not like this, there's something dark, there's something mysterious about She-Wolf. Uh, this is a woman who has an urge to have a little bit of dick, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, and she's looking for her prey. Uh, it kind of is almost like in the video, I, if I was to equate it with something, is almost like even uh, Christina Aguilera's Your Body. It's very, it's very to the point. She's on the prowl for a man and she's gonna get that man. Uh, I love it. The video is a lot of fun. Such a great single. I'm really shocked it did not reach uh, in the top 10. I mean, 11 is pretty close, but this should have been a bigger hit. I think it's too sophisticated as well, too, because I mean, it's Shakira, so her lyricism is just always through the roof. Uh, one of the lyrics that I find interesting is that it doesn't sound all that like, like profound, but I mean, uh, I'm starting to feel a little abused like a coffee machine in an office. Like, that's not like the smartest thing that's ever been written, obviously, but who would think to write like that? Like, I've been feeling a little abused like a coffee machine in an office. It seems like it almost should be corny, but it's not. Um, and then, what was the other one? Darling, it is no drug, this is lycanthropy. What is lycanthropy mean actually um search oh my god no. highlights all right um okay i'm gonna have to type it up because genius lyric lycanthropy what does that stand for this is lycanthropy mental disorder in which the patient believes that he is oh I would have never known. So again, Shakira is always educating me. A mental disorder in which the patient believes that he is a wolf or some other nocturnal that's crazy and so are these photos that pop up too a little spooky um a great halloween song this should be up there with michael jackson's thriller that's for sure but um uh, this is an amazing song and one that i'm so glad that i've learned to love uh, it makes me excited to see what we have for the rest of the album track number two did it again Oh, my. Okay. Wait, is she on an elevator? Wait. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, no, she got it wrong. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh, she's bad. Okay. Damn. Oh, Alright, here we go. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh my god okay so um i liked this and i i would like to look up really quick so this was a number one dance hit but 
because I'm starting to do a thing now when I have my charts here. I just always look for what the highest charting position is. If there isn't a Hot 100, oh, so that means it didn't chart on the Hot 100. Oh, there's a Spanish version of this too. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, so this did not hit the Hot 100 whatsoever, which is a shame. Um, I wonder why. Yeah. Is it only like an international single? There's, there's an alternate version. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to look at that later. But, um, okay. All right. Did it again. Was a bop. Should have been a bigger single. That was a lot of fun. What's really interesting is that this kind of works as a sequel to She Wolf. So as we all know, Shakira is a very, she is a very codependent person. She she is all about the love, you know, the partner, the love. Um, so I feel like She Wolf, lyrically, even though I love it, is a departure for her. It's her taking new territory. This is her being like, let's just have a little fling. You know what I mean? Uh, and as a sequel to this, it kind of works because Shakira is the she wolf in the last song, and then she's still going with that persona, and then all of a sudden she's like, "Uh oh, I can't do this. This is not for me. I did it again. I can't. I I, I can't make this work. I'm a t the type of person that believes in love, and it seems like maybe something more is going on here with this dude. But that's kind of the vibe I get. It feels like connected. Like she tried to be the she wolf, and she's like, "Uh uh, uh uh." I, I'm a woman who needs a man in love. I want to be in love. Um, she doesn't want, you know, just like love for the night. You know what I mean? Um, and then it looks like she tries again. Oh, and you know, it's funny. She brings up her legs. I liked your legs. I liked your moves. Anyone can tell. No hard to deny that. Um, this was a lot of fun. I loved her lyric on it. I loved the production that was done on her vocals. Uh, it seems like a sense of panic. Um, in this song. And I think that she, it's, it makes me feel that way. I was like, oh, we did it again. Um, this was fun. Okay. So yeah, that easily gets a like and I'm I am I can I stand it. Track number 3, Long Time. Okay. This is giving me Breathe on Me vibes by Britney Spears for some reason. I don't know why. So, weirdly enough, this song reminded me of actually two Britney Spears songs. Uh, Breathe On Me for one of them, and uh, the one where it's that she's like, back it up now, do the rump now, send the body. I can't, what, what is that one called? You'll know, I'm sure somebody will watch this and they'll be like, they'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but this is very much a song that is like, we are in the moment. Shakira is having sex before our ears. Um, and, you know, it, it's definitely not as like, you know, like, whoa, as like some other songs could be for that type of subject matter, but it's definitely, that is what's going on here. I mean, right here, the first lyric is show, <laughs> show me, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's too funny. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, but this... show me all the talent God has given you. I mean, show, I mean, come on, you can't get any more clearer than that. Um, I didn't love the chorus as much as I wanted to. I think it's one that'll grow on me. Um, it definitely, because like I said, it did remind me of those two songs I was saying. And for some reason, I think in my head, I wanted the chorus to be more like those songs. But I mean, this is Shakira. It's her own thing. But it definitely reminds me of that. Um, long time, long time. I mean, I'm breaking the record. I mean, 
Okay, Shakira, I see what you're doing here. You know, it's so funny is that the, the vibe I'm getting so far is that right now, this is just such a different lyrical record for Shakira. And for a lot of people, this would be like very like standard for them. You know what I mean? But for her, this is just, this is kind of breaking new ground for her. Um, Just so far, the amount of like sex we have. And as a Scorpio, I love that. I, I love that. So long time i mean she's been going out for a long time i mean the, and these minutes are returning lately long night it's been a long night i can't wait to touch you touch oh uh, maybe oh, is she not having sex then you know music's open to interpretation so you could either take this as her waiting to have sex um or she's having it you know i like both whatever you whatever floats your boat track number four which i'm excited for is called why wait okay <laughs> This reminds me of um, other songs too, because this is reminding me of um, "Incredible" by Madonna from the from where is it? She's here from the Hard Candy album. Uh, I love that. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I have a better ending. Shakira, if you want to re-record this, uh, I think it, she should have kept going with that you, you, but then the last one should have been you, like a whisper at the end, and then done. That would be another bit. I would have liked that better than a fade out. Um, although, it's okay. Like I said, reminds me very much of Madonna's um, uh, Incredible from Hard Candy. And you want you guys want to know, this is something funny. I'm going to out myself here just a tad bit. Um, so as I, I said, this album came out on October 3rd of 2009. So this album came out when I was in seventh grade, okay? And coincidentally, this shirt, I might have had it in seventh grade, but I did get, I know for sure I had it in eighth grade. But this is a, this is a shirt that's almost as old as this album. Looks still nice though, right? It's like the only thing I still have in my closet from like back in the day, which, you know, like still fits me. It's nice, you know? And plus black is all slimming. That's why I cannot wait to make the thumbnail cover for this one because she's wearing black and I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna look so skinny. Um, but regardless, back to the song. Um, <laughs> um, why wait? I mean, this is just Shakira. I imagine her at the club, at the, at the, anywhere honestly telling this man why wait let's go now let's do it let's get down and do the do um i'm loving hearing her take on this material drowning in your sweat until i drench my clothes you've seen nothing yet wait till i let go i mean I, she's been i've been waiting for this from her i have to say i love that this sexual side is coming out of her like 
this is some this is some nice shit. I like it. Uh, and especially the the Middle Eastern elements are just obviously give Ojo Sisi vibes. Um, oh, wow. This could have been a single, much as I agree that Madonna, you know, an incredible by Madonna is not a very well-loved song, but I've always liked it. So, um, we stand. I can't wait to listen to this again. Track number five, Good Stuff. Huh? Huh? Okay, so a few things to say. Uh, this is technically my least favorite song so far, but we're only five songs in, so that's not really saying too much. Uh, I will say my, my main criticism of it is that I don't think the chorus is all that strong. The verses and the pre-chorus are so much more interesting than I feel like what happens really in the chorus. Uh, but regardless, still a fun one, and this lyrically kind of reflects back more onto what Shakira uh, is normally, what I've come to associate with her for, like these more sentimental like lyrics. Uh, it's interesting because it still fits on this album, but like I said, it does have these more like older Shakira lyrics. Like, uh, it's very much a codependent song, and uh, while she uses a little bit of sexuality in it, which is, she's not a stranger to, so don't get me wrong there, uh, this one's a little more abrasive with the sexuality, but still just as abrasive with the uh, need for a connection. Um, like, my new resolution is to trust you. My business is to love you until you've had it. I'm not going to miss out on the good stuff. The grass is much greener with us on it. And maybe that's why the chorus is... Because the chorus is only those four lines. And the pre-chorus is so long compared to that. Um, but it's interesting. Uh, one that I definitely think I'll need a little more time for. But I still like it. And I do put a like next to it. I did put a like next to it. But uh, for currently at the moment, it is my least favorite. Track number six, Men in Town. Okay, so she's in California. Oh, Damon. Matt da oh, Matt Damon's not Matt. I get what you're saying. Okay. out of nowhere. Wait, I have to hear that again. That was not what I was expecting. Oh, 
god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, so a few things. I feel like I went through like 10 different feelings listening to this song. I was like, oh, I don't like it. Then I was like, I love it. Then I was like, eh. Then I was like, oh, I really, really love it. Uh, this is a song that I think provides a lot of people with mixed emotions. Shakira better hope that Gen Z never gets a hold on this song because they'll be like, you're promoting toxic masculinity. Men can be however they want. And you know, there's a part of me that wants to think that too. But much like Shakira, I in a sense feel like I would like a manly man as well too. Fun little fact, I was banned off Tinder for about uh, six, not six months. Well, let's just say since... July of this year uh, because I sent people links to my YouTube channel and Tinder was like, you're spam. So thankfully I was finally able to get a new account set up just a few weeks ago using a text app. Uh, and I, I'm back on Tinder now and I'm, this, is, this is how I feel when I look on Tinder. I'm like, where are all the men? Like, I'm like, <laughs> I feel like Wendy Williams right now. Um, I'm like, where are the men? Where, where am I supposed to be doing here? Everybody I see is just not who I'm looking for. You know, I feel like Shakira. I do want a manly man too. You know, one that, you know, gladly wants to go to the Shakira concert and dip it and do it. But, um, <laughs> like, I feel this. Like, where is there a prince in this fable for a small town girl like me? Yeah. You know what? Yes. Yes. And you know what? This song did start to pick up a lot of life when they say it's a suicide waiting, whatever the hell was going on there. So you know what? At first, I was a little unsure, and then I was a little worried, and then I was sold. Um, I liked this. I honestly, you know, I, back in 2009, this could have been a single. Uh, today, sadly, no. Um, but, don't mind it. Uh, where are the men? Where are, I'm looking at my window. Where are you? Where are, the, where are the men? Track number seven, the fourth and final single, Gypsy. Aw, very folky, I like that. This sounds familiar. So first of all, it sounds somewhat familiar. I don't know if I've heard it before, but I could have. I mean, anything's possible. Um, but I actually, oh, what a shame this only hit number 65. This is actually really, really pretty. I mean, the biggest takeaway, and thankfully someone annotated this, basically the purpose of this song is that Shakira said, I've been living my life on the road since I was very young. So that's where the gypsy metaphor comes from. Um, Basically, Shakira's moving. Like, she, she's a gypsy, so she has to always keep moving. She has to keep moving on with her heart, with her life, everything. Um, and she's like, hey, if you're coming with me, that's cool. But if not, then I gotta move on like a gypsy. Um, ah! Ah! In the heart! Um, I won't back down because life's over now. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think you need me sitting here dumbing it down for you. But that's pretty. Aww. Aww. Shakira. 
in the heart. And you know, this is the type of song that really works well too in this like scheme of the album because it's it just feels more like centered around her versus love and per se. I love that. Track number eight, Spy, which features the one and only Wyclef John. We heard him last album, so let's hear him. I didn't know they had a second collaboration together, so let's hear it. Spy. Yeah, Oh, that's her. It's not a trumpet. That's cool. You bet I could. Oh, my God. So very different from Hips Don't Lie in the best possible way. Um, I love this collaboration that they had with each other here. I mean, wow. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I mean, just the spy. I mean, basically this song, I mean, she's just telling this man, like, <laughs> there's a spy by my window. I know it's you. You like to keep an eye on me. I know you'd like to keep... That's funny. And you know, it's kind of like, he's like, kind of like this, Why Clap is kind of like a peeping Tom. And then I was like, that's wrong. And then I was like, ugh, I thought honestly, you know, I, I wouldn't mind if someone peeped on me, you know, sometime soon, because why not? You know, something, something fun for the night. Um, damn, this was a lot of fun. It's so sleeky and seductive and like d just everything about it. I like when they mentioned the cat and mouse. And the other takeaway is that Shakira in this album so far is really um, messing around with her voice. Like she has, she does really cool inflections on a lot of things. Like we've talked about it before. I'll be there and you'll be near. Uh, the way her voice is so gentle on the, um, in tus papilas, which is like, content. just the gentleness of her voice. But with this one, it's very, so far this album, it's very abrasive, very, it's just, it's very, it's almost like, it's Shakira being like, oh, you guys like think my voice is like distinctive. Let's see how distinctive we can make it. Um, and I love that. Serving up everything on a platter with this one. I'm kind of shocked that this wasn't a single. It's a lot of fun. And considering, you know, Wyclef is on here. Um, why not? Track number nine, Mon Amour. She is pretty warm than every night I pray And you don't knock her up Cause I still want to be the mother of your child They say that I'm a little bit I really hope you have a horrible vacation okay. Angry. To me, you were exactly like a busy 
was so much fun and first of all can we talk about the fact that this song has very um donde están las ladrones vibes she is angry as a hell in this album but unlike that one where she kind of takes that anger and puts it inward towards herself oh no 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 miss shakira has grown she is now telling this man screw you literally go to hell uh basically um and she dated this guy now he's going on his little trip to paris with his girlfriend and she is pissed and she hopes she, i mean listen <laughs> like right here she says hope the french fr fleas eat you both alive and your room smells and the toilet doesn't flush and the locals treat you mean and the service takes too long you bastard um amen 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 i mean Wow, she is an angry woman, and I feel her anger in this. Bienvenue from hell, but more. Basically, she's saying hello from hell, my love. Um, I love it. I love Shakira giving me a little French. Um, this, I think, might be one of my favorites so far. Uh, and I kind of wish that this was a single. Um, this is a lot of fun. I, I love her. I love her angst. This is angst that I can get down with. I love it. Okay, track number 10 is called Loba. Uh, which is the Spanish version, actually. I just found this out of She Wolf. Um, and I thought about skipping it. But you know what? I got time. And it's She Wolf. So, why not? <laughs> That sounds cool there. That sounds really cool there. Okay, that was Loba, the uh, Spanish translation of She Wolf, uh, which just translates to, I guess according to this, it does mean She Wolf, but one other translation I looked at just said Wolf. Now, as you guys have to remember when we do this, because I do not speak Spanish, the, I do not speak <laughs> no habla espanol, um, I always look at this and I get to read it. Thankfully, I have the original version to go off of, but it's interesting translating the Spanish version back to English and how slightly different it is it almost feels a little more even poetic which then granted that comes from, probably from the spanish um but it, the chorus really translates to a she-wolf in the closet wants to get out let her eat up the neighborhood before you go to sleep i've got magnetic stilettos in order to leave this pack frenzy the full moon is like a fruit it doesn't give advice nor does it hear them again this is a little odd the way it translates obviously but um I carry a special radar with me to found single men. In case I get in trouble, I also have the firefighter's phone number. Not really cute guys, nor divos, nor rich boys. I know what I want to have lots of fun, behave really bad while in the arms of some gentleman. Um, this is interesting the way it just, it's slightly different and it, it feels like a different, it, weirdly enough, because it sounds similar, but also feels completely different. Um, cool. I had fun with that. I did not know that. I, I assumed, I guess we could say, but I didn't know for sure there was a Spanish version of this. Um, also, fun fact, I did learn, you know, there is that Spanish version of Hips Don't Lie. I didn't like it. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would have. Would have. This one I did like, though. I did. Um, but yeah. Track number 11, Lo Hecho 
um, está hecho, which I hope I'm saying that right, okay, um, which translates to what's do what is done is done, and this is our, this is our first new Spanish language track. So, let's, let's see what's done is done. <laughs> Oh, this is did it again. I knew I wasn't crazy. Okay, so, um, okay, um, wow, I really did not specify that clearly online. Um, okay, well, hang on, okay, so let's hear this one again. I knew I, I, knew I wasn't crazy. Guys, guys, um, hold up. I, I need to confirm one thing real quick, and then I need to talk to you about a revelation I just had. Okay, um, so this makes so much sense that why some of the songs in here gave me vibes from Hard Candy, and I do believe even the Brit Britney, some of the Britney Spears, because one of the main co-writer in most of these songs is Pharrell Williams. I didn't even realize that. It makes, especially this song, oh my god. Oh my god. It makes so much more sense now. Holy shit. Okay. Um never mind. We're going to we're going to keep going. I just uh, wow. I can't believe I missed that. That's crazy. That's insane. Okay, that was Le Echo, Esta Echo. Um, now, m what I'm getting with this translation is that it's similar, but there are some differences I noticed that I don't remember in the first one. I like this lyric that translates to um, from the mini bar to the Eden, like the Garden of Eden. I think that's cool. Um, it was the flavor on your skin. It tastes like sulfur mixed with honey. Um, uh, what's done is done. I tripped again and the same. You know, the main thing that I take away is that you have to remember the original song. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make sure I get it right. Because remember, this is the first time, so I gotta make sure I get everything right here. Did it again. Um, they have similar vibes, but uh, it's like Shakira did it again, you know, in the English one. But it seems like she's regretful with this. Regretful. With this one, the vibe I get more is like, eh, what's done is done. It could happen again next week. Um, they, <laughs> they called from reception when Sweet 17 complained. Um, what's done is done. I tripped again with that same rock that had always been there. Everything is not healthy. Feels so good. And with you, it's never enough. Um... They're, they're, I, I liked it just as much, and the vibe is, like, slightly different. What's done is done, what's, what's done is done. I feel very different. Um, I did it again, and then what's done is done. It seems like they should be similar, but they feel different to me. I don't know. But, um, I liked it. It was fun. Track number 12, Años Luz. Um, and I hope, again, I'm saying that right. I always, again, I always pop it in Google Translate. Actually, let me hear it again. Um. Años Luz. Años Luz. Uh, which translates to light years, which is funny because I, I have a comparison I want to make with a, a certain singer who has an album called Light Years in a second here. But let's see. I'm not sure if this is another translation, so we'll find out. Um, is it? This is a translation. This is why wait, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. The, they did not specify really if these were English or, Span or Spanish translations. Okay, let's just keep it going. Um, okay, all right. Okay, that was Años Luz, or Luz, um, which is, again, the Spanish translation of, uh, oh my god, I gotta get the titles right here, um, Why Wait, right? I'm, uh, am I crazy? I gotta, this is getting a little, like, whoa. Okay, yeah, it's the Spanish version of Why Wait, and, um... I like it just as much as the original. It's interesting that the original is called Why Wait. This one technically is Light Years. Uh, but the chorus translates to Waiting in a Sea that I Don't Even Know How to Navigate. Don't Stay Light Years. I've already decided I want you. 
I want to I want to know if you have too. Um, come trust in me. There isn't a margin of error. Allow that in my skin. Signs. So again, translations are always odd, but um, I liked it just as much as the original. I just I just was not expecting there to be three Spanish versions of the songs on this album. Um, that's all. Track number 13, our first new track that we I feel like we've had in a while. Um, Give It Up To Me, which features Lil Wayne. Wow, what a time. Wheezy! Oh, and this was the third single, and it did hit number 29. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this one actually. It kind of makes me a little sad that this was buried under three Spanish tracks of songs we had already heard. Um, but regardless, I thought it was a lot of fun. I mean, I, did this have a music video? I'll find out later because I'm, I'm running a little, I'm getting a little pressed for time here now. But um, I thought it was fun. I thought her and Little Wayne played off each other really well. And I'm kind of shocked that this small 29 is not too bad, but it could have done a little better, don't you think? Okay, track number 14. Uh, this is Did It Again, another version, uh, but this one features Kid Cudi. And I don't think we're going to listen to the whole thing, but I do want to hear where he kind of plays in. Hey, secure, boy. What's going on with the delays, baby? Uh, First born, 316. All right, I have the lyrics up, so he doesn't come in again until the chorus. So let's, let's, yeah. Okay. Okay, I get the idea. Um, okay, so that was Did It Again, which features Kid Cudi in this one. And you know what this reminds me of? The, um... The Blad, the, the Blad, the, I, and I'm, believe me, I'm not a Taylor Swift stan, but um, in terms of the song Bad Blood, I love the regular version, and the only part about the remix that I like is like, which is like, because maybe now I got Bad Blood, uh-huh, and when he like has like little things in the beginning, but when it comes to that, whoever that guy is in that remix, is like verse, I don't care, I don't want you here, goodbye, I didn't need you. Um, that's how I kind of thought about this, it would have been fun to hear on the radio, but the original version stands fine, just on its own, um, and it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, that's it again, the remix. So before I give you guys my final thoughts on She Wolf, uh, I do want to say, now looking at this track listing, it does make everything a lot more sense, because there is a Spanish version of this album, which has the, all the Spanish tracks, and we didn't even cover all the Spanish versions. There's also what looks to be a Spanish version of Gypsy. There's also an alternate version of Le Echo, Le, Le Echo Esta Echo, <laughs> which features Pitbull. Um... There's just a lot going on here. And I have to say, um, there's just like so much. But what I, what my big takeaway of this, before we talk about the content, is I do find the track listing to be a little, just a little odd to me. It wasn't what I expected. So when you think about it, the regular version of this album really ends at track number nine. It's really only a nine track album. You can technically add in Give It Up To Me featuring Lil Wayne. But what I'm wondering, because that wasn't on every version of the album, but yet it was a single, so was it technically, um, I, well, it looks like it was part of She-Wolf, so, um, uh, background and composition, um, did it again, or there some good, I mean, yeah, um, but it wasn't included on every version, so I find that a little odd, uh, but it just feels like the album should have ended for me at track number nine. Um, and then, well, actually, no, it should have ended to a track number nine, then you should have slotted up, did it again as track number ten, and that could have been the ending 
or not did it again give it up to me as the ending um because while i did like the spanish versions it did feel like i was just then again sitting listening to three spanish versions and then a remix and then there's also two live tracks on here of this of gypsy and she wolf so it's kind of like the track listing fell a little bit apart for me after monomore um so I kind of really want to focus on the uh, first nine tracks. So first of all, with this album, we, again, we are seeing Shakira tackle just different territory. This is her most sex-drived album. And, you know, considering this came out in 2009, I mean, you have to remember the albums I'm thinking of. It, there were parts of this album that reminded me of Blackout by Britney Spears, Hard Candy by Madonna. Um, it sounds very of the time. But unlike some of those, it doesn't go too dated. I will say Did It Again with that remix did sound a little bit more like, uh, a little more dated to me. Um... But regardless, I really enjoyed Shakira tackling this type of material because we haven't really seen it. We've seen angry Shakira, we've seen sad Shakira, but and we've seen sexy Shakira, but we really haven't seen like I want sex, right? This is erotica Shakira in a sense, or like even this did this album also reminded me of Kylie Minogue's body language. Um, it's her it's her most sexually driven album that we've gotten so far, and me being the Scorpio, yes, I, I stand this wholeheartedly i do wish that it was a little more thought out because i feel like the album did fall apart a little bit for me after track number nine just with the it felt like too much after that i feel like one spanish song is cool but then three and then a remix and then a new song it felt a little buried at the end there um so i think i should share my favorite songs i think my favorite takeaway i mean we all know we love we love she wolf um Mon Amour might have been my favorite, just the whole F.U. aspect of that song. Did It Again is great. Uh, I'm glad it was the number one dance hit. Should have been a bigger hit in America. Don't know why that didn't happen. Uh, I liked Spy. Spy was a lot of fun. Gypsy was absolutely so sweet. Again, men in this town, the, the Gen Z might come for it, but I, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, uh, Long Time, Why Wait, and Good Stuff are all three that I really need to revisit. I think Good Stuff was the one that I, yeah, that was the first one that I didn't like at first, but I think I'll grow into it. Um... But I had a lot of fun with this one. It was definitely a very different Shakira record. That is for 100% sure. But I do not regret now whatsoever buying the uh, the Urban Outfitters vinyl. I'm glad to have this. I can definitely see myself jamming into this alone in my apartment late at night. Um, it's just interesting. I, do, I just feel a little let down by the ending of the album. Because I don't feel like it has a proper end. Um, what a shame. What a shame. But still cool to hear her do this different type of material. Um, and again, much like, you know, Oral Fixation, um, volume two, we did get like English translations of Spanish songs, but it felt like they fit in the album. It felt like they had a place. These Spanish translations just felt very tacked on for this one. Or if you had it, you could have the track listing of the Spanish version, which has the Spanish songs instead, you know, but keeping the ones that don't have Spanish ones. I feel like you have to listen to the album in that sense. Um, or else it, it's just, everything just feels tacked on to me. I don't know. Again, so many freaking different editions of this album. Like, our version ends at 14 tracks, if I'm correct. No, for, yeah, 16. And then there's one with 17. It's just a lot going on here. Lots happening. And I can't keep up with it. But, um, yeah, She Wolf. I really did like it. I had a lot of fun. Took me back into the time, that's for sure. So what do you guys think of She Wolf as an album? Let me know in the comments below. As always, do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Salvador J. Rocha, Twitter at Sal Says Stuff, and TikTok at Sal Rocha One. And I will see you next week when we tackle a Spanish language album, which was released on October 19th of 2010. She loves an October release date. Um, uh, el sol, which does mean the sun comes out. So the sun will come out next week. I'll see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye.